This is ABC News Channel 27. The first half, a bright one for the NC State offense. They have a 10-point lead, 24-14 over the number 10 team in the nation. Terry Gannon, Mike Mayock back with you. The Morgan Stanley well-connected storyline. Mike? Uh, Philip Rivers has dominated the football game from his quarterback position. Look at Chris Ricks, four completions in the first half. Two of them, though, for long touchdowns. And obviously the two wide receivers from Florida State have done a nice job. Folks, look at the total yard. Who would have thought a 98 yard differential favor North Carolina State. Now Florida State won the toss. They deferred to the second half. So it's NC State, Adam Piker, who will handle the duties here, kicking off to Crefonso Thorpe and P.K. Sam. A couple of youngsters back deep. Freshman for the Seminoles. Second half underway. Crefonso Thorpe at his own goal line. Cross the 20 out. Fighting his way to the 24-yard line, and Florida State will start there. Victor Stevens made the hit for the Wolfpack. If you're Mickey Andrews now, you look at what's taking place in the first half. What are you telling your guys? What did he tell them at halftime? I mean, defensively, I think Mickey's saying, I got a bunch of young kids, and once I take the expletives out of what he said, I, I think he probably just said, we're going to simplify it. We're not going to let him pick us off or do any of that kind of stuff. And offensively, Ricks was one for seven in the second quarter. That can't continue. First and ten. At the 24-yard line, straight drop for Ricks. Plenty of time. There goes that. Down he goes. He may have lost a yard. Good coverage in the secondary for NC State. Yeah, he looked right at Javon Walker, who was wide open on, on the sideline. I don't know why he didn't pull the trigger. You know what happens with a young quarterback? He's really built up a lot of confidence over the last two and a half games. However, if you can shake him a little bit, he's got to be questioning himself right, right about now. Successful first quarter to open it up for Chris Ricks, but the second quarter a different story. You heard the numbers just a minute ago from Mike. Second and ten now. Out of the gun. Over the middle, got a man wide open. Complete at the 41-yard line, P.K. Sam, the freshman out of Hubert, Georgia. And they'll move the chains. And this is the vertical pass attack. Mater, the fullback, number 39, will circle underneath, right in the middle of your screen, drawing the linebacker. Then right behind him is P.K. Sam, the wide receiver. Two different levels of attack of a zone defense. Well done by Florida State. Gain of 19, so it's first and 10 from the 43 now for Ricks. And we'll call the play at the line of scrimmage. Nickel package in for State against the three wide look. Out of the eye, Eric Shelton straight ahead. Not much doing there. Falls ahead for a gain of maybe a yard and a half. Shelton, the freshman out of Lexington, Kentucky, in a powerhouse back there at 6'3", 230 pounds. Saw Nick Maddox on one play this afternoon. He caught a pass, but then re-injured that ankle. That's been bothering him. And we did get a report that Greg Jones was a little banged up as well. At a neck sprain. Play action for Ricks. He's had plenty of time so far in the second half. And Profonso Thorpe with the catch inside the 40 and one out of bounds at the 38. Here's a guy who Bobby Bowden really likes and wants to get him in the ball games more and more as the season progresses. Yeah, he's an exciting kid that stayed home out of Lincoln High School right here in Tallahassee. He did a great job of running Marcus Hudson off deep and then coming back to the football. And Thorpe, they call him pro. They want to get him into this offense a little more often. Got 17 yards on that play, so it's first and 10 at NC State's 38. Gardner with a catch inside the 30. He was wide open. Down to the 24. Alman Gardner, who had a touchdown catch earlier in the game, this time a game of 14. You now, Ricks and Jeff Bowden, both total for corners, will bail out on man coverage. This is what happens here. Two plays in a row. Marcus Hudson bailed deep. The wide receiver, Gardner, did a good job, read that, and came back to the football. Marcus Hudson, number one, has got to do a better job of challenging those wideouts. Move the chains again. Ball placed down inside the 25. Again, the straight drop. Quick throw goes behind Sam, who came back for a fine catch. Actually, that's Gardner. Tom and Gardner who came back nicely to make the catch. <laughs> Now that time, Brian Williams challenged the receiver. It was just a good pitch and a catch. 
Now we're in the red zone again. Second and three. Out of the eye, operating with Shelton, the tailback, and Ricks changing the play here. Watch H. Ruth Bell in the slot. Long count, play Here. action. He had him. Had him initially, and Ricks is going to run. He's going to go down at the 20, and there's a flag in the backfield, and you are absolutely right. He was open. I, I, I really think Ricks is starting to question some things. He's not reacting as naturally as he has in the last two and a half games. We're going to get a holding penalty, but he had Atrus Bell wide open across the middle. So you'll get a hold against Florida State. And we talked about the slot receiver, 26, Atrus Bell. If he gets rid of the football right now, he's open. He had underneath coverage, but he had a slot to throw it. And I think he's hesitating right now. And that's what happens with a young quarterback. All of a sudden goes one for seven in the second quarter and a little concerned about pulling the trigger. And we talked about the turnovers and trying to stay away from those. He had the one interception in the first half, but that was a big one because Florida State had momentum. They had just picked one off in Phillip Rivers. Right, back-to-back -back interceptions, and Florida State did not take advantage of it. So it's second and 13 now at the 27. He's had plenty of time here. Rushed out of the pocket. He can run. Getting outside. Ricks has a first down inside the 10, driving his way down to the six-yard line. 21 yards on the carry for Chris Ricks. And I give Ricks a ton of credit for recognizing the situation, making the right decision. But wait do you see Chad Mater's block, number 39, in the open field. He steps up, doesn't see anything. Look for 39, right to the screen, peels back on the All-American Fisher. That gives the edge to the quarterback, and he runs over Julius Patterson. First and goal for the Seminoles at the six-yard line. Mater. And Shelton in the backfield out of the eye. Counting the box. The pitch to Shelton. No room to run. Aaron's hope with good containment that time. And I've been giving Mater credit all day today, but he missed his block on Terrence Holt that time. Holt came up to force the play on the toss sweep. Mater missed the block, and Holt did a great job on the contain. You'll see number nine flash from the right side of your screen. 39's got to block him. Mater misses the block. Holt keeps the outside in contained. That's as good as you can do it from the free safety position right there. Nice job. And, of course, defensive coordinator Buddy Green loved it, too. Ricks in the air in this third quarter. Four for four for 57 yards. Going to roll out. He goes down. The ball is loose. NC State has it. Marcus Hudson, number one. The freshman falls on the loose ball. That was a bootleg, and if Hudson gets it in the backfield, you know the corner was blitzing. And what's the one thing Jeff Bowden told us this week that the concern was early in the year was him putting the ball on the ground in critical situations. 11 interceptions, also four fumbles this year. Ball was forced loose. The cornerback Hudson does a great job. And credit George Anderson for the force. Anderson causes the fumble, Hudson comes up with it, and NC State holds deep in their own territory. car at a great rate. Call or click Thrifty. It was the mountains and the snow and the water below. Are you ready? And you will know it's cold at last when the Coors Light hits your glass. Are you ready for a cold one? Are you ready for a cold Coors Light? Are you ready? Are you ready for
for a cold chorus light. Are you ready for a cold one? Those must have been some cookies you left, Santa. I didn't leave them cookies. I left them cheese. Ah, the power of cheese. For a great car at a great rate, call or click Thrifty. The champs track down the Titans in their first meeting. Now Tennessee is looking for payback. Ravens, Titans, round two. Monday Night Football at 9 Eastern on ABC. The left defense end number 34, Anderson, closes down. He gets beat on the play, but does a nice job recovering, strips the football, and then the true freshman, Marcus Hudson, makes his second big play consecutively, week to week. But look at Chris Ricks. Five hurries, two knockdowns, one sack. That's his 16th turnover of the season. 11 interceptions, five fumbles. Yeah, had an interception in the first half, and now the fumble here in the second half. So two turnovers this afternoon. NC State taking over first and 10 from their own 13-yard line. Ray Robinson, tough yards, maybe one yard. He fought his way back. Darnell Dockett, number 45 on the hit. That's a huge turnaround for North Carolina State there. Darnell Dockett's a funny guy, huh? <laughs> there are times when the uh, coaching staff doesn't think he's a funny guy. But, <laughs> but you need those kind of guys. They're characters. Always playing jokes on other people and uh, loves to play this game. Okay, they come to switch the trips again wide side. They force Florida State to react. Second down, the quick out. Brian Peterson, the cut back of Bradley Jennings, wraps him up as he gets out to the 18-yard line. And that, again, technically was a lateral. We've seen a number of those that's today. That's a run play, and that's fine. But the problem is Abdul Howard missed the tackle. You get him out there in there, you got to tackle the football. Now look, wide open, one-on-one. -on -one. Howard misses him and turns no gain into six-yard gain. And that's exactly what NC State offense does to you. It puts guys on air with a chance to make a play. Good play coming up momentum-wise. There it goes again. Direct snap to Hannum. All on Hannum, number 19, out of the shotgun. Backup quarterback. Throwing on the run. He's got his man. Hotre, number 82, across the 45, out to the 49-yard line. Late flag came down. I wasn't sure if he went past the line of scrimmage, but it came from the wrong side of the field, I believe. We got a legal man downfield, maybe? Possibly. Roll out like that. That's a dash play. It's the old Joe Theismann dash. They bring number 80 right over, let him block the corner to allow him to get to the edge with the run pass option. And on the offense. But that's once again what Chuck Amato's offense does to you. All of a sudden, the direct snap to the backup quarterback. He gets out on the edge, delivers the ball late, complete. But there was a lineman illegally downfield, and they're going to bring it all the way back to the 13-yard line. Well, that's a huge penalty for the Wolfpack. Yeah, and all of a sudden, this crowd's back in it, Terry. The loudest that we've heard this afternoon. Again, there goes Rivers, split right. Right in motion to the near. Hannum wanted to run initially, he's got nowhere to go. Sank back at the nine-yard line. Darnell Dockett, he's got to be a little careful with that celebration. They don't want you doing it by yourself. You got to stay with your teammates. I think Hannum made the wrong choice. I think he had a hole to his left, and he decided to go to his right. Dockett, the big play defensive lineman, makes the play and forces the punt. Fifteenth tackle for loss on the season for Dockett. He leads the team. Here's the punt by Herbert, only a second in the afternoon. Dominic Robinson dancing, comes back. Got a lane. Sidestep still in, finally down. At the 21-yard line. 
Dominic Robinson, the freshman out of Diamond Bar, California. Huge play by the true freshman. We talked at the top of the show that North Carolina State had to dominate special teams. They're not. Robinson starts up the middle, forces a missed tackle by Terrence Holt. Gets to the edge, another missed tackle. I thought he stepped out of bounds about seven yards shy of that. 43-yard punt, but Robinson brought it back 30 yards. So the Seminoles with great field position, another great opportunity. They might take a shot right here. Ricks. Again, a wait of time. Got his man at touchdown. Tommen Gardner with the catch. They took a shot and they connected. 22 yards, second touchdown catch of the afternoon from Tommen Gardner. They, they put the safety, Terrence Holt, in the bind. A double route down the middle. Good job by Ricks in recognizing the open receiver. Xavier Batia on for the extra point. Up and good. Tolman Gardner with seven touchdowns in the last three weeks. And this one is an important one. The Seminole back to within three. Tomahawk. Introducing new Tostito Scoops. Amazing. And now the alley-oop reverse. With a bite-sized bowl-shaped design. Oh, my. And what everyone's been waiting for, the two-handed thunder. For the perfect dip every time. Oh, the judges have to be impressed. New Tostito Scoops. The dip lover's chip. <laughs> also great with new Queso Supreme Dip. job by the Florida State offensive line out of the shotgun all day. They run a double seam route. Ricks has plenty of time to watch him clear underneath and then come back late to Gardner who does a nice job adjusting on the football that was thrown a little bit behind them. And after the turnover, excuse me, the punt return, they come right back, hit the big play. Didn't waste any time. The one play after the turnover and the touchdown second for Gardner this afternoon. So Seminoles back in this one, 24-21, 7.31 left here in the third. Lamont Reed, Greg Golden, back deep for the Wolfpack. Reed on the right side. Golden at his own three. Nothing doing. And his Seminole crowd and his defense pumped up right now. Eric Moore made the hit. ABC Sports presentation of college football brought to you by Dodge. You can take life as it comes, or you can grab life by the horns. Dodge. Pacific Life. Annuities, insurance, investments. Discover the power of Pacific Life. Burger King, home of the Whopper. And America's Dairy Farmers. Ah, the power of cheese. Lights are on here at Doe Campbell Stadium. Sun has set. Great look down on a place that Florida State has never lost a game in the ACC. 39-0 coming into this one. And I'll tell you what, you see the, the, the tomahawk chop going right. This is just such a great venue. I'll never forget coming down here as a senior ball from college and losing to one of Bobby Bowden's Orange Bowl teams. Night game, they had it going. 
stadium looked a little different back then. You know what, though? Osceola did. He came out on Renegade. I was a captain, and he came out and threw a, a spear. Just as intimidating, I guess. Let's go to New York and John Saunders very quickly here. Terry here on the Burger King Update. Kansas State had a 14-13 lead at halftime. But Nebraska comes back. Darren Diedrich takes this one in from two yards out. They get two cracks at the point after. They go for the two-point conversion because of a penalty. They get it, 21-14. All right, John, thanks. <laughs> you look at Chief Osceola, Lord Renegade. Yeah, I came out before the game as a captain. He had a flaming sword. He threw it over our head. I turned to our co-captain and said, Timmy, we're in deep trouble now, man. He said, why is that? I said, because their mascot could kick my butt. <laughs> Wait till the team gets out here. <laughs> Nikki Andrews, defense trying to figure out this NC State offense. And listen to this. Bill Campbell Stadium crowd now. Rivers out of the gun. Over the middle, he's got Peterson with the catch. His fifth of the afternoon, the leading receiver on the year for the Wolfpack. Yeah, I thought Rivers should have gotten rid of it just a little bit quick, more quickly. Bradley Jennings almost had the opportunity to make the play there. They put the linebacker in the mind. Look in the middle of the screen, number 44. Drops off in coverage. He knows coming from his right. There it is. If he breaks on the ball a little bit earlier, he has a chance to make a play. Ryan Peterson, the strongest man pound for pound on his NC State team. A high school quarterback who's thrown a couple of touchdowns this year. Rivers on the run. Goes down at the 23. Looks like he may be just shy of that marker. It's not going to matter. Flag, yeah. It, Willie Wright, the tight end, flinched. See, closest to us. See that flinch right there? Puts the hand down, does not reset. Ball start on the offense. Five yards. Repeat second down. Willie Wright's been quiet this afternoon. A little bit. I think one of the reasons is, is that the wide receivers have gotten open against this young secondary more than I expected they would. And the linebackers have done a good job of taking Willie Wright out of that pass offense. Third leading receiver on the year. In fact, he's got five touchdown catches. I mean, he had 31 catches a year ago, 27 coming into today's game. That's a big old wide receiver playing tight end is what that is. They're going to take their time right now and figure out the clock situation. They'll talk it over on the sidelines. It, oh, we have a moment, a reminder, the U.S. national soccer team in action against Trinidad and Tobago tomorrow at 2 Eastern, 1 Pacific here on ABC. Why do we have to play against two teams? It's awfully tough when you're outnumbered. Yeah, they're already in the World Cup, doesn't matter. Be a good one tomorrow, though. Straight ahead goes Robinson. Ray Robinson hit by Darnell Dockett there, but what a first half he had in the Wolfpack, averaging 104 yards on the ground a game this year. Had better than that in the first half, at 108. Yeah, I think what Florida State is doing is what we talked about, and you can see the total yards turning drastically right now by half. But I'll tell you one thing. I think what Mickey Andrews did is what we talked about. He simplified his game plan defensively in the second half. He's just getting after him now. Audrey in motion. Third and seven for Rivers out of the shotgun. Throws it out to Jackson, who needs a move to get away. Well, that closes quickly. A better look at Jackson wow. fighting his way up to the 22-yard line. He should be short of the first down, but... What a move. Yeah, he made the first guy miss. I think it was Malcolm Tatum. <laughs> About five more guys followed up. Not going to be enough, and it's going to force a punt here. Huge time of the game for North Carolina State. They had it going pretty good. Then they get the punt here. Look at this. Quick snap. Florida State's got about 25 people on the field. they got to throw the flag. Austin there it goes. Herbert. Yep, there goes the flag. And it was fourth and two. That'll be a first down, folks. Robinson looking for room, dancing away. And holds on to the football as he's brought down by Antonio Burnett. But 
they'll bring this back. Yeah, and I hate to say this, Terry, but I really think that Chuck Amato and his staff is out coaching the Florida State staff to this point in the game. Fourth and two, momentum changing. They sprint that punt team on so fast, and they catch Florida State in the change. That's huge. And Mickey Andrews certainly made adjustments at the half. He's been able, his defense has been able to stop NC State, but maybe caught off guard early in the game right. by what NC State did offensively. The key here is whether or not he got, there's Mickey Andrews, very concerned. Whether Substitution or not. on the defense. Too many men on the field. Five yard penalty previous spot. It'll be a first down. <laughs> it was like a, fi a, a, a fire drill there. They couldn't get all their people on and off. They had 15, 16, 18 people on the field. Yeah, and, it may and, not have been 12 men on the field. Might, uh, might have they been 18 17, or 18. I'm telling you. <laughs> and I'll tell you another thing. That's as good as a turnover right there. That's a fourth down punt situation. You get the football back. It doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but that's a turnover for Florida State. And it has happened to them a number of times this year. You saw Darnell Dockett against Maryland right. with a big penalty that allowed a drive to continue. Maryland right. able to go up at that point. And uh, with a young team, I guess that does happen. Yeah. But, you hope at this point in the season it doesn't happen, especially here at home. And we just saw Mickey Andrews, one of the most highly respected coaches in the country, a little frustrated right now. First and 10 at the 26. They give it to Edwards. Tries to get outside, but can't. Abdul Howard showing his speed, the senior out of Quincy, Florida. Okay, that was a good job closing by Abdul Howard. By Howard. He's missed a couple open field tackles on Ray Robinson. That time he did a good job on Kotcher. NC State's offense today looking much better than it has really throughout the season. Corn Robinson, a guy they dearly miss, went to the NFL early. But you say, well, where are the big time players, the big play receivers? They come to the floor today. But there's movement on the offensive line, and this one won't go. It'll be interesting to see which way to call this one, though, because two people jumped. Defensive lineman jump from Florida State. I think they're going to get him in the neutral zone. Offside on the defense. Five yard penalty. Remain second down. Another break for NC State. Keeping drives alive any way they can right now, Tar. Mickey Andrews trying to match his personnel up now. He's got he's got four down linemen, normal people in the game. Take the reverse. Robinson keeps it. He goes down to the backfield. Down at the 31-yard line. Tony Benford, junior out of Denver, number 97. Get him back there. Well, a Pacific Life game summary earlier in the game, it was all Ray Robinson. And we talk in the open, both on the ground and in the air, this guy can hurt you. And he's been the key to the game so far. Catch the ball, a little flare, makes people miss, gets down the field, and then three yards, full toss play right there, touchdown. First half, he had 84 total yards. You talk about how important it was for Florida State to keep him under 100 for the game. Third down. Over the middle, there goes Robinson. We just talked about him. He's got a first down for NC State. Bradley Jennings drove him backward, but forward progress gets the first down for the Wolfpack. That is just a simple little circle route. Robinson coming out of the backfield. They needed about five. They got six. Watch number five to the left of your screen. Checks. Comes underneath. Sees the zone coverage. He's going to settle in right over the hash mark. He knows where the first down marker is, and he's going to fall forward and get it. Owen Hannum, number 19 now in. There goes the shift. It's still Rivers, though, at the quarterback spot. Hannum, one of three receivers to the near side. Coach Ray Jackson, the give, bouncing outside, and a look at the strength of Jackson to the 45-yard line. Howard ran him out there. One of the interesting things to me, Terry, what shows confusion is that pre-snap, when North Carolina State is shifting and doing all the things they're doing, I think Florida State's reacting awfully late to the shifts. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to tell when three guys are going back and forth. They, they react late to on the right side. Here comes just a little handoff back against it. Jennings can't get to the play, and Howard, the safety's got to make the tackle. 
Good job by the NC State offensive line, too, to clear the way for Coach Ray Jackson. Here they go again, late shift. Second and four. Rivers, the quarterback draw. Run for the second time this afternoon. <laughs> He's close to an NC State first down. That's just so smart. They spread the field again. He knew exactly what he needed for a first down. Florida State guy down. Darnell Dockett yeah. is down. But back up. I watched him in practice on Thursday. He, he weighs 285, and you can't believe, folks, how well he carries that weight. He was only about 265 a year ago, put 20 on a pure muscle. He's one of those guys that's got the motor. He's always chirping, has a great time in practice. High, oh. high school player of the year in Maryland. Two-year starter here at Florida State. Part of a defensive line that really has improved throughout the year. But they've been spoiled around here. You know, you talk about defensive ends. You know, Jackson and Emmanuel are pretty good, but when you, you lock them up against Bowler, Renard Wilson, Andre Wadsworth, they're not, they're not there yet. Tough to compare. Yeah. First down for NC State. Quick drop, pump fake, going up top to Peterson. Dangerous pass, almost picked off. Chris Hope almost had the interception. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though, the play was made by the corner. I believe it was Samuels on the bump on the white. It's number 10. Samuels gets a bump on the wide receiver on the hitch. That forces the elevation of the football. Now your safety has time to come over top. That's a play Chris Hope probably should make. When you're a defensive back, you got to help each other out. If you get a little bump on that wide out, it allows your safety to come over the top and help you. Just throws the timing of the route off. Play well, held up because there is a man on the sideline who is down. I think it's actually someone standing on the Florida State sideline who was knocked down, and they're attending to that person. Yeah, there you go. Back at it, ready to go. A commercial coordinator down there. <laughs> Took a hit. He's a tough guy, though. He's back, second and ten now for the Wolfpack. Four wideouts, including Hannum in the slot. The inside did go to Robinson. Nothing doing. He's going to lose a yard. Bradley Jennings was there to hit him along with Alonzo Jackson, and we'll go back to New York. Times Square Stadium and John Saunders. Terry, in the Burger King update, Kansas State in Nebraska. Nebraska has the lead. The add to that. DeJuan Gross on the punt return. And watch him separate from the Wildcats. 60 yards for the touchdown. And Nebraska is marching yet again with just under a minute to go right now in the third quarter. All right, John. Testing but starting to roll. Nebraska is third and 11 here for the Wolfpack. Under pressure out to Robinson. Gets a block. Nowhere near a first down, though, for the 48 of Florida State. Malcolm Tatum, the junior out of Miami, who got a start today at the right cornerback spot. Made the hit. Mickey Andrews is starting to bring some heat now defensively. Florida State defense is flying around the field. He's played well in the second half. Austin Herbert, sophomore out of Cary, North Carolina. High snap, but he's able to get it off. This is a short punt, though. Dominic Robinson comes up to field it. Wow. Takes an NC State bounce, though, when things are going your way. Wow. That's a break for the Wolfpack. Herbert said, yeah, I knew it all the time. <laughs> That's a punt of 42 yards, but maybe it was in the air for about 30 of those yards. That was it. Wolfpack with a three-point lead. How can you provide for the future of the people who depend on you? With the power of Pacific Life. For over 130 years, Pacific Life has improved the lives of millions with investments, annuities, and insurance. Because careful planning today can help them reach their dreams tomorrow. Discover the power of Pacific Life. There's a light in your soul is you're one of a kind Don't never let go Be original An individual Like Dr. Pepper 
new album, Scarecrow, is available November 13th, wherever great music is sold. Then I had that taste. The new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger at Burger King. Now I'm a believer. With grilled sourdough bread. Not a trace. A doubt in my mind. A quarter pound of flame broiled beef. I'm in love. Two slices of melted Swiss cheese. Four strips of bacon. The new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger will make you a believer. Now for a limited time at Burger King. Shrek, the biggest movie of the year. Now available wherever videos are sold. You don't know what you're missing. Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible. Tonight at 8.30, 7.30 Central on ABC. The Wolfpack with a three-point lead here in the third quarter. These pictures from high above Tallahassee, courtesy of the Goodyear Blimp Stars and Stripes. Each year, the Goodyear Blimps visit over 100 communities and have participated in dozens of telecasts at major sporting events. Of course, you already knew that. <laughs> American flag. Yep. Pretty picture. And stars and stripes. Chief Osceola wants some offense right now from Florida State. The Dodge drives summary for the Seminoles, their last eight drives. It's been either real good or real bad. They started off with two long touchdowns. And then punt, punt, interception, halftime, fumble, and then all of a sudden one play touchdown. So it's, it's feast or famine for Florida State. Just outside their own six-yard line. Ricks swings it out, complete to Nick Maddox, who is back in the ballgame, and he's got a Florida State first down, a little extra talking at the end. And that was a good read once again. Soft zone defense, Maddox with a little swing route. Get him out in the open field and get you out away from your own end zone. Shotgun formation, Maddox top right of your screen. He just flares out. They're playing a soft zone. He's got plenty of open field. Good pitch, good catch. Gain of 11. Good to see him back in with the injured ankle, so he must be healthy enough to go for Bobby Bowden. Straight ahead for Maddox, who really does give you a different look. You know, the traditional Florida State back at Six feet, 200 pounds, but much different than Greg Jones, who comes in at at least 245. Yeah, and Jones, we got a report, was hurt. All of a sudden, you lose him at 245, and, and you're lucky to be able to come back with Maddox. A little more shifty, good, solid back. Second down, Ricks. Had time, now that evaporates. Down he goes at the 22. Corey Smith, number 48, senior out of Richmond, Virginia. Our sprint, PCS game fact, Florida State with three losses in the ACC since 92 when they joined the league. Of course, Virginia, that goal line stand up at Virginia. NC State, the six interceptions, Winky through in Raleigh, and Torrey hold a big game there. And, of course, North Carolina earlier in the year, but they have never lost here at home. And how about North Carolina? Spanks Florida State, gets their game going again, and we... Just heard recently they lost the 24-point lead today to Wake Forest, right? They were up big and lost that. So three losses now in the lead for North Carolina. We go to the fourth quarter. NC State with a three-point lead. Back with more after this message and a word from our ABC stations. BF Goodrich tires with traction advantage. Approved. For control you can feel and see. BF Goodrich tires take control. For a great car at a great rate, call or click Thrifty. In after school programs, your kids will find the hero inside themselves. Let us know you want after-school programs in your area. Call 1-800-USA-LEARN. 
Kwan, Slutskaya, Hughes. The reigning world medalists meet for the first time this season at Skate Canada. Sunday at 4, 3 Pacific on ABC. I want to say a few words about a friend of mine. Well, we're rooming together? His name is Brian Piccolo. Honey, have you seen the girls? He has the rarest form of courage. Brian is sick. I can't lose him. I love Brian Piccolo. And tonight, please ask God to love him too. Brian's Song, Sunday, December 2nd, 7, 6 Central on ABC. Mitsubishi Eclipse. Right now, pay zero down, zero interest, and zero payments till 2003. This is ABC News Channel 27. The fourth quarter underway here in Tallahassee. The catch made over the middle by Javon Walker. Out to the 45-yard line. I thought his knee went down. That's, I, I think we're going to have a talk here back around the 26-yard line. It did look like he went down. Well, Get yeah. the word now. I think they are going to bring it back. Yeah, I, I think they. I think he did. Man coverage in the secondary. Good read by Ricks. Let's see what happens now. Walker catches the football. Oh yeah. I mean, you, you can't see it because the defensive back's in the way, but it, it certainly appears like it did. Let's see. Well, well, you know what? It, it, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the knee. If anything but your but your hand or foot touches the ground, you're down but it looked like he stayed up there. I don't think he went down, which is a key play. Florida State having to punt it away. Jericho Cotteri gets a block. Still up. And run out of bounds finally at midfield. And there was some hitting on that return. 44-yard punt, a 21-yard return. Was that Terrence Holt who threw that block? I think it was. And the fans don't like it. It was a very visible block, and they wanted a clip in the back. Older brother Torrey would be proud of that one. <laughs> Opening moment to the fourth quarter, NC State still up by three. Switch. Sure. Introducing the all new Chevy Avalanche. The only vehicle that switches from an SUV to a pickup. Good idea. Chevy Avalanche. Like a rock. <laughs> Chili Southwestern Egg Rolls, where East meets Southwest. Your search for the right financial partner brings you to the Pacific Life family of companies, managing more than $300 billion in assets. Discover the power of Pacific Life. I'd heard stories, but I had to see it with my own eyes. I can't send it to you till I get to the hotel tonight. Can't get information to your co-workers, so you're to blame. Yeah, how did you know? May I? You need the Sprint PCS Clear Wireless Workplace. Most advanced wireless package customized for your company. On the only all-digital, all-PCS nationwide network built from the ground up. It'll clear up that forehead thing. Thanks. Excuse me, ma'am. Duty calls. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I think I'm starting to go bald. Yeah, well, that happens to the best of us. <laughs> now at Sears Auto Center, our best-selling Michelin tires are on sale. Sears, where else? Chili Southwestern Egg Rolls, where East meets Southwest. Syracuse faces number one Miami for other regional action next Saturday on ABC. 
Remember, if anything but your hand or your foot touches the ground, you're down. Shoulder and elbow clearly touch. Good call bringing the football back and forcing the punt. Good job by the refs. Yeah, we didn't see it from the other angle, but his shoulder clearly touched the ground. Forcing the punt, so NC State takes over at the 49, they'll call it, of Florida State. Willie Wright only had one catch, folks. Quick out, complete. Devontae Edwards trying to turn the corner. Does it for a gain of maybe three. Stanford Samuels, random out of bounds. I think Mickey Andrews is upset with the referee. I thought there was a hold out there. He's stalking the sidelines, chasing the referee down. Very upset. That's Joe Kynes, former offensive coordinator in Georgia. Also a head coach, interim head coach at Arkansas this time. NC State, what they've done today. Florida State below what they have averaged over the course of the season. Of course, NC State, not much going on in the third quarter, though, offensively. Over the middle, caught, but a yard and a half short of a first down. Jericho Contrary on the catch. Needed to get inside the 40-yard line to move the chains. So whatever Mickey Andrews did, and you've mentioned just perhaps simplifying things at halftime, it has worked for the Seminoles. Yeah, I think he's sitting in a more basic defense right now, so they don't have to run around as much. Got a young team, and, and North Carolina State's as complicated as it gets offensively. There it goes, split out. Nobody in the backfield, now four receivers to the near side. They throw it behind, Cotri with the catch, fumble. He lost it, it's on the ground. Robinson had it for a moment, we'll see who came up with it. Florida State thinks they have no, it. No, I think, I think it's North Carolina State, and I think it's Willie Wright. And I think it's a first down. It will be a first down if the Wolfpack has it, yep. That's exactly who came up with it. Robinson had it for a moment, and then, yeah, there's number 80 on the bottom of the pile, right. Four wide receivers. Look at this. They did this earlier in the game. It's actually a lateral. There's the cut. He's got the first down. He got a good hit by Hope. Really good hit. Ball's loose. It looks like it ought to go to Florida State, but from the left side, Willie Wright, the tight end, makes his biggest reception of the season right there. <laughs> right out Russell Pope for the football. Well, it's first and ten at the 36. And again, there goes the shift. Country all the way, split out to the far side. Inside handoff, Coach Ray Jackson pounding his way, legs driving down to the 32. And that's just beautiful. They get everybody front side where the trips are. They get you all spread out. And then they, their, their run offense is so simple. It's that little draw play they just ran. It's a quarterback draw, and it's the short pass game. That's their run offense. That's all they have. Simple, but it's beautiful. Simple to watch, but tough to defend. Oh, it, it, I, as a defensive back, I couldn't even imagine having to deal with all this. And now you've got number 19 in there again, Olin Hannum. Last time they beat them here, 1967, when Chuck Amato was a player. Second down and seven for the pack. Robinson got a hole, got a block inside to the 23. He's got a wolf pack first down. Abdul Howard finally closed it. But a gain of nine for Ray Robinson. You know, Darnell Dockett, they don't even block him on that play. They, they anticipate he's going to run up the field, which he did. And you don't even have to block the guy where you're running. Because he's running up the field. The fullback goes right inside him. Maybe the most interested spectators watching this one getting set to play the Maryland Terrapins. Oh, yeah. An ACC title. They take on the Clemson Tigers tonight. Robinson. Oh, he cuts back. Ray Robinson's going to get to the end zone. What a run by Robinson. 24 yards for the score. Yeah, a huge missed tackle right in the hole. I thought it was Pope. The Will linebacker. And this place is silent except for that <laughs> section right there. <laughs> Adam Piker on for the extra point. He's got it. So a stunned Doak Campbell Stadium.
after the run by Ray Robinson and the drive by NC State to take a 10-point lead once again. 31-21 Wolfpack. There was no running back more fun to watch than Barry Sanders. He'd stop dead in his tracks and go backwards. He'd spin away from tacklers and go sideways. And yeah, he also moved forward for about 15,269 yards. Hey, nothing beats an original. Original Coors, brewed with Rocky Mountain water. Original Coors, nice handoff. <laughs> Great, credit card bill. These fees. Honey? One rate for purchases, <laughs> higher rate for cash advances, <laughs> and those telemarketers. Relax, we switched to Capital One's new no hassle card. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Introducing Capital One's new no hassle platinum card. No balance transfer fees, no telemarketing, one low fixed rate. Huh? Honey? What's in your wallet? <laughs> After the new Chevy Trailblazer, everything else just seems kind of weak. The all-new 270 horsepower Chevy Trailblazer, like a rock. And this tackle can kill a defense. Number 44, All-American Bradley Jennings in the hole. Is it a great move? Yes. Does he have to make that play? Absolutely. You can't miss that tackle in the hole like that. Especially not when you're Bradley Jennings and huh. what he has done in his career. Right. And how about Ray Robinson? Scoring drive for NC State. He's the guy. I mean, he's the guy today. He's got 23 touches, folks. 127 yards, that looks like, and two touchdowns. He's got my vote. He puts up those numbers, NC State wins. I mean, throughout the season. Right, if he's able to do that. Thorpe and Sam back deep. Awaiting the kick. Defonso Thorpe from his own five-yard line. Cutting back, looking for a seam. He's got one. Out to the 34. Good return for Thorpe and the Seminoles. Good field position here to start their drive. Don't forget the Ravens and the Titans coming your way. Monday night football, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Chris Pfeiffer, our producer, will be there in Nashville. If he can get a flight out of Tallahassee tonight. <laughs> I hope he makes it. Don't you have some figure skating or something to do, sir? <laughs> uh, that's a week down the line. Okay. Dick Buffington, our director today, giving us the pictures. Great job in the truck. Both guys. Ricks to throw. Over the middle goes behind Walker. And it's incomplete. You're going to find out a little bit about this young man right now. I'm talking about Chris Ricks. This is where he's got to step up. He proved it against Maryland. He earned the respect of his teammates. Look at the dominance since joining in 1992. They lose today, Terry, and it opens the door. Maryland plays tonight. Tech only has two losses. They lose tonight. They can lose that string. Lose that ACC title in the BCS Bowl. So a lot at stake for Chris Ricks here. Starts on this drop. Oh, had it in one hand and then dropped it. Bobby Bowden's pointing. He wants it. Ryan Williams was step for step with Coleman Gardner, but he still almost made the catch. <laughs> Look at Mickey. Well, Mickey, you're the defensive coordinator. Now, this, you can't throw this ball any better. We just talked about Rex. Watch where this ball goes. It's excellent coverage. It might even be interference, but you can't put that ball any better than Chris Rex did. It's Gardner's job to catch it. Mickey's not able to speak up just because he's the defensive coordinator there, huh? Look it over and coach your defensive guy. I'm just teasing. Mickey's great. Look at the number wow. comparison for the two quarterbacks. We talked about efficiency. Look at the line item there for Rivers. 20 out of 26. That's, that's about as efficient as it gets, though. Ricks throws. He's got his man. P.K. Sam with the catch. That's a first down in NC State territory. 
Good route by the freshman, good throw by the redshirt freshman. I just was starting to say, we're going to find out what kind of guts this kid Ricks has, and he throws two beautiful passes. First one's dropped, second one gets good protection. Watch him step up. Sam's open. Big gain right there. You're going to find out a lot in the last 11, 11 minutes about this young man at quarterback. A world of time left. I mean, uh, over 11 minutes. Plenty of time for the Seminoles. Play action. Going deep. There was yeah. contact. He'll throw the flag. Yep. BK yep. Sam, number 81. And let me tell you what happened. The safety, Julius Patterson, bit on play action. Was late getting back. He knew it, and he grabbed out. And I think Ricks does a great job on play action for a young kid. I watched, I watched him in practice the other day. And for a young kid, he does a great job on play action. Okay, where's the safety? Where's the safety? Where's the safety? 32, he's beat. So what's he do? He reaches out and grabs him. Clearly a good call by the referees. And Julius Batterson probably saved a touchdown. Yeah, but he got beat. He got a nosebleed there. He Play got, act, you know, you're up by 10 here. Don't don't get beat deep, Julius. He got beat initially, but uh, the contact, that uh, another good pass from Ricks may have been six. Right, I agree with that. Inside the 30 now out of the shotgun. Under pressure, NC State on the blitz. Ricks gets rid of it. How did he get that one off? Terrence Chapman, number 11, was flying at him. Yeah, and the Chapman's a guy they really like as a pass rusher. Defensive end, number 11. They got a full blitz coming from the top of your screen. You're going to see him flash from the left. There he comes. Good job. And how about Rex? Presence of mind to get rid of the football and save the sack. I mean, I, I really feel like watching a lot of tape of this kid, talking with him yesterday. I feel I, I, I like the kid. I want him to do well because I think he's hung in there. But you're going to find out. We're really going to enjoy these last 11 minutes. He's a strong kid, too, oh. just to be able to get that one off. World of talent. 6 4 two, ten. He's going to run this time. Cuts back. He's got a first down. Fumble. Fumble. The ball is loose. NC State has it. Do they whistle it there? I think that's a fumble, folks. I think he's going to call it down, too. They whistle it dead. And his knee hitting the ground, and Florida State wow. will keep the ball and that's, have a first down. That's huge. And Jeff Bowden told us yesterday one of the things this kid does is sometimes he tries to do too much and creates a fumble for himself. Watch what happens here. Great recognition. Here he goes. 4-5 speed. Now get down. Don't take on two tacklers. The ball was ripped out by the freshman Marcus Hudson. The question is, is the knee down? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Good call. Gain of 14. He fumbled earlier in the game, you remember. Yep. That's huge right there. Out of the gun under pressure. Ricks throws and fourth. There was contact again. Looked like the defender was all over the back of Profonso Thorpe. Yeah, that's the true freshman again, Hudson. They're picking on these freshmen a little bit, and they should. That was pure man coverage there. They peeled the linebacker with the running back, and Hudson had to wide out all to himself. First down. Okay, red zone. Here we go. Top of your screen, one on number one on number one. You can see him right there. Left arm wraps around the shoulder pad, preventing the catch. Clearly a good call. Freshman on freshman. Right. Book got the better end of that deal that time. And as a former defensive back, I think pass interference is a, is a contradictory term in itself, but that's okay. <laughs> It applied there, though. <laughs> yes, it did. First and goal from the three. Here they come. Oak showing blitz. Ricks picking it up. He's going to leap to the end zone. Touchdown, Seminole. <laughs> if that drive is about character, Chris Ricks has plenty. Yeah, if the fumble gets called the other way, though, we're, we're talking about it a little bit differently. But, but let me tell you something. There's no questioning his athletic ability and heart. Mathia for the extra point. So Florida State back to within three. 10.05 left here in Tallahassee. It's 31-28. Wolfpack.
change for a dollar? Sure. Introducing the all-new Chevy Avalanche. The only vehicle that changes from an SUV to a pickup. Thanks. Chevy Avalanche. Like a rock. Drinking a Pepsi. Actually, this isn't a Pepsi. It's new Pepsi Twist with lemon. And I'm not Hallie Eisenberg. I'm Hallie Bear. Drinking Pepsi Twist. Well, it's not exactly Pepsi Twist. It's Diet Pepsi Twist. And I'm not exactly Hallie Bear. You know. I'm Barry Boswick. Who is Barry Boswick? Like twists? Try new Pepsi Twist in regular and diet. A lemon twist on that great Pepsi taste. An ABC premiere event, Saving Private Ryan, presented uncut Sunday at 8, 7 central on ABC. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Plan call, quarterback draw from the four-yard line, spread the field, make one guy miss, get up in the air over the free safety hole. That's just athletic ability. And Terry Gannon was just all excited during the timeout and said, we got a ball game. We do. Down to the wire here in Tallahassee, 10.05 left. And NC State with a three-point lead. Remember, they're 75 and three in the ACC and never lost here at home. But this is where they separated a couple of weeks ago against Maryland, tied at 31. Mm -hmm. Fourth quarter went on the win, 52-31. Greg Golden will not read. Back for the Wolfpack. Golden fields it. Looked like it was going to go out of bounds. Yeah, should have let it go. Looking for a seam. He's not going to find one. Back to the 15. Poor decision by Greg Golden. Good call. ABC Sports presentation of college football brought to you by Chevy Trucks, the most dependable, longest lasting trucks on the road. New Pepsi Twist, Pepsi and Diet Pepsi with a twist of lemon. Morgan Stanley, formerly, formerly Morgan Stanley Dean Witter, move your money, get well connected, and original cores. Nothing beats an original. The chant, <laughs> the tomahawk chop going on here at Doug Campbell Stadium. They need a stop with 9.54 left. Wow. It's rocking and rolling now. State has to answer here. First and 10 from the 15. Rivers over the middle. Got his tight end, Willie Wright, to the 21-yard line. Remember, Willie made the big play recovering that fumble on the last drive. That's just a little combination route. Kotchery cleared out over top. Right came underneath, and once again, the quarterback made the correct read. Rivers looks out to our left, folks. You're going to see the flash. He comes underneath Kotchery's route. They've been putting Jennings in a bind all day. Re re receiver short and one deep. Only the second catch of the afternoon for Willie Wright. Ray Robinson. Tough yards up to the 29. Wolfpack offensive line doing some work. Yeah, the, the offensive line got a push, and the fullback did a great job on, on the All-American Jennings and just crumpled him over and allowed Robinson to get a big play. Watch 44 to the right in the middle of your screen. He's supposed to come up and take on Jackson in the hole, and that's a big win right there for Jackson. He's outweighed by about 25 pounds, gets at least a stalemate, and Robinson comes in behind. Against an All-American. First down for the Wolfpack now at the 30. Out of the shotgun, Rivers over the middle. Dangerous pass. The intended receiver, Troy Graham, Michael Bulwer, and Bradley Jennings. Yeah. Right there with him. And these NC State guys are starting to smell a little blood. They're starting to jump on some of these short routes. I think they're going to have to loosen them up a little bit vertically again. We haven't seen State go deep in a while. I think they got to take a shot and move these guys back off the ball a little bit. You mentioned finding out a lot about Chris Ricks on the last drive. You find some things out about the Wolfpack offense here on the road in Tallahassee with the crowd as loud as it is. Right in motion. Straight drop. 
Slings it out to Jackson. Cuts back. Close to a first down. Coach Ray Jackson appears to have a Wolfpack first down. You got to tackle people. And that's what they're doing. And they're isolating running backs on corners. And the running backs are winning. That time, Rufus Brown had a chance to make a tackle and force a third down situation. He missed the tackle again in the open field. Willie Wright, the tight end, who's had two catches this afternoon through a nice block to spring Jackson, too, on the cutback. So they move the chains. First down from the 40, and here comes that shift again. Three wides from the short side to the wide side. Florida State trying to catch up. Give it inside. Jackson, strong running and a big gain. Gets about eight to the 48. Bradley Jennings tripped him up. I love that play. They don't block the nose guard. They bring the wide receiver back just to hold the linebackers on a fake reverse. Watch what happens now. The, the wide receiver is going to fake reverse. They're not going to block the defensive tackle down the left of your screen. They let him come free. Jennings has to make the tackle seven yards downfield. You watch this game, Mike, and you wonder how NC State throughout the season could be last in rushing in the ACC. On the ground again, Robinson straight ahead. He's got a first down. 7.36. And Terry, you make a good point, especially that offensive line, the, the middle three guys, Derek Green, the center's 250, Weir's 260, the guard, and Brown's 268. That's the smallest interior offensive line I've seen in 20 years. NC State today, 435 yards. They've done everything well, and, and Terry, I agree with you. They're running the ball better than they have all year. Owen Hanneman at quarterback now on the sprint. Can he get outside? No. Bradley Jennings caught him and held him up behind the line of scrimmage. Now, that's recognition. Great job by Jennings. He knows Hanneman's in. What does Hanneman's package consist of? It consists on getting to the edge. Jennings knows it. Here goes Hanneman. This is the quarterback keep all the way. He scrapes to his left. Makes the open field tackle, and that's the difference between a great play and a poor play is the tackle. So after the loss, it brings up second and 13. And Phillip Rivers back in at quarterback. They bring the blitz, he picks it up, complete over the middle. He's got his tight end really right, who is close to a Wolfpack first down and should have one. They have run that play 20 times today. And because of the blitz, Wright was left wide open in the middle. Watch from the left of your screen. The wide receiver goes deep. The tight end goes underneath. Another busted assignment underneath. Bowler has to come over and make the tackle. Jennings came on the blitz. No one picked up that area. Exactly. Game wide receiver clears out. Huh? And he's wide open underneath. And that's a tremendous offensive game plan by Marty Colbrell. Gain of 14 for Wright. Here they go. Hannum, number 19, there he goes. Split out. Three receivers to the far side, one to the near. Going to give it inside, though. Ray Robinson squirts away from one. Made it all on his own to the 35. The heck of a drive. We're under six minutes. They got it back with about 10.50. Run five minutes of the clock here and most of the Terry on the ground. It really shows me some frenzy state and tells me that Florida State may be defensively not as good as they need to be. He didn't move the ball on them. Robinson with 104 yards, almost as much as the entire Florida State team. Um, that makes his third consecutive 100 yard game. Yeah. And when he's running for 100 yards and catching the football, they're a pretty good football team. Right in motion as the crowd gets louder here. They swing it out. Coach Ray Jackson, what a move to get away from one. And now inside the 30 to the 29, host of tacklers there, including Abdul Howard. But once again, and I hate to harp on it, but you got to tackle. And either Brown or Tatum missed another tackle in the open field there. And that's why North Carolina State on third down has had so many third and less than fives. Because you know, this is where they want you. They get you down to third, three, four, five. Now they got a run pass. They got you. Don't forget the 
ISU Grand Prix of figure skating coming your way. Skate Canada tomorrow at 4 Eastern, 3 Pacific here on ABC, including Michelle Kwan in that field. Key third down coming up for the Wolfpack. Third and three. Padre in motion. Rivers throws behind right, who's got it, and he's got a Wolfpack first down. I mean, that's the play they've run all day. It's a combination of three players. The running back swings wide. The wide receiver clears out deep, and the tight end, Willie Wright, who split out, comes underneath. And they got to jump that route. It's recognition. you got to jump the route. Rivers looks back. He sees what's happening. Bang. He just gets it in in front of Jennings. That's <laughs> Until you take it away, they're just going to keep coming back with that three-man combination route. This could be the drive of the season for NC State, taking all this time off the clock. they got to finish the game. They've got to get points at the end. Exactly. Robinson nowhere to go back maybe ahead for a yard and a half. Good job by Kevin Emanuel, the defensive man, finally closed down with that fullback. Made the play. Clock continues to run though. Now remember, we got a three-point lead for NC State. Field goal makes it six, obviously, and forces Clark State to a touchdown to win the ball game. They've got to get points on the board if you're NC State. Rivers on the day, 25 of 32 for 245 yards. Steps up, throws on the run, complete, short of the first time, but there are flags on the play. Yeah, I, I thought he was all over his back. Looked like it. You can see who's stepping to the forefront of this offense on this last drive is the tight end, Willie Wright, who only had one catch coming into the drive, is now dominating the football game. Pass interference on the defense. Spot foul. Automatic first down. Some crucial penalties and mistakes in the second half for Florida State. Hanging all over his back. Here we go again. They need yardage. There goes number eight of the tight end. Over the top right there. That's, the, I believe, the Will linebacker. Nope, that's McFadden in the corner. Hanging all over his back. This drive started at the Wolfpack 15-yard line. It's taken almost 10 minutes off the clock. Robinson jumps ahead and is brought down inside the 15. Don't forget, if time permits, stay tuned for the thrifty Car Rental postgame report. Stories and highlights from across the country with John Saunders and Terry Bowden. Don't forget, with 2.56 left in the game, Florida State still has all three of their timeouts. And they're going to need to start thinking about them soon. Clock is running. Clock is running, exactly. Chuck Amato knows it. Going to use every bit of that play clock. Fake the inside give. Rivers on the run. Trying to get outside. Jennings won't let him get there. Well defensed by Jennings, but give Rivers credit for staying in bounds. Stayed in bounds. His father was a coach, still is a high school football coach. His dad, Steve, was his coach in Athens, Alabama. Now the head coach at Wakefield High in, in Raleigh. You can tell the son of a coach. Florida State uses one of their timeouts, so they're down to two. NC State with 224. We'll talk it over and a third down coming up when we come back to Tallahassee. to fall in love with the new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger at Burger King. Indulge your craving in a hot, delicious quarter pound of flame broiled beef with melted Swiss cheese and four strips of crispy bacon stacked up on two slices of grilled sourdough bread. It's for a limited time, so head over to Burger King today and get ready to fall in love. After the new Chevy Trailblazer, everything else just seems kind of weak.
The all-new 270 horsepower Chevy Trailblazer, like a rock. He got a good one going here in the fourth with 223 left. NC State inside the 15 yard line, third and seven coming up. Now, once again, that three play pattern with Willie Wright coming underneath has been their staple with about five to seven yards. Mm -hmm. You got to believe Florida State's going to be all over. This is the lineup they use it out of. That's the formation. Now, Wright shifting. There goes right, and there goes Hotrick. Yeah. Three down linemen for State. Rivers with time, swings it out to Robinson. Nowhere to go. Great play defensively by Florida State. I think it was Pope. It looked like Pope that flashed there. Yeah, number nine, Kendall Pope. They jumped all over the swing pass there. Excellent job. So you've got fourth down coming up for the Wolfpack with the clock stopped at 214. Well, they got the stand they needed, did the Seminoles. Well, let's let's talk a little bit about the place kicker and what they're gonna do now. So the three-point lead and we'll talk about that in a moment but remember the last time NC State beat the Seminoles was back in Raleigh in 98. They had Torrey Holt running all over the place a punt return of over 60 yards. Look at that. Able to get all the way to the end zone. Holt was fantastic that day and also Chris Winky through the six interceptions and the Wolfpack with a 24 to 7 upset in Raleigh. One of only three times Florida State has lost in the ACC, never lost here at home though. Back to the current situation. He must be a good luck charm for your alma mater, but you know what? I don't know about that. I mean, here comes a place kicker. It's gonna be Adam Kiker, I'm sure, who's five for six on the year. His long is 31. How long do you think this kick's gonna be? 31. Right, right around there, yeah, maybe. Off the, yeah. They, they might call it 32, so. Off the left hash, good angle. This fourth down, and they're going to go for it. NC State, Adam Kiker's not out there. There's Philip Rivers. Oh, and look, and here it comes, folks. They've got to call a timeout. And did you see what they did? They split the offensive lineman, Colmer, way out. That's the old, my dad had a term for my high school coach. You split the lineman all the way out wide each side, and you force them to defend all 53 yards of the, of the field with the width. With, be, with the whip, that's that's difficult to say. I, apparently, I didn't say it very well. Either. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Mickey Andrews on the sideline and Joe Kine and Joe Kine. Yeah, there's a lot of years between them. And how about that call? I mean, he just tipped his hand there, so I'm sure Mickey's trying to get him. But what it does is it forces the defense. You can throw the ball all the way to the left sideline. You can throw it all the way to the right sideline, or you can stay right in the middle. So you got to defend all 53 and a third yards. And let's see if they're going to come back and kick field goal now. Yep. Okay, that's what I... They had to. So Adam Piker, whose long is 31 yards, will call this a 32-yard attempt. He's made one already in the game. Right-footed kicker, good angle for him from that hash. High snap, they have trouble with it. He gets it off. Wow. And it's good. What a play by the holder and Kiker, the kicker. Wow. Adams, the holder. I believe it was the it number. No, take a look. It's Mebbin, you're right. Jeremy Mebbin. And he, I'll tell you what, he, the laces are the wrong way. Yep. He fumbled it. Tatum almost got there. It was an ugly kick, but you know what? <laughs> look at Mebbin. <laughs> Can't believe it. 
Tatum can't either. It's still worth three, folks. That's the bottom line. Wasn't pretty. Said, but that change, that is so crucial. That changes everything for Florida State and our getaway plan. That's perfect. <laughs> Less important. No, but in, in all honesty, it changes absolutely everything. Because now field goal doesn't do them any good. They Pacific Life summary. Take a look at uh, the numbers so far here in Tallahassee. Rivers, look at the game that he has had. We, we highlighted him up top. He's done everything we said about being an efficient, smart quarterback. My hat goes off to him. Chris Ricks, less attempts, bigger plays. Look down the bottom, though. Who would have ever thought North Carolina State hangs 464 yards on the Florida State defense? Averaging 346 yards on the year. Yeah, 120 more. And Bobby Bowden cannot be real happy about that. Look at that. Fumbles the hold, the laces are wrong, a double clutch. And Tatum went by. Did yeah, he was that? by it. He actually went by and tried to trail it with his left hand. He can't believe he missed it. The irony is that actually the fact that he misheld it helped him get away from the, the blocker. Mm-hmm. Alfonso Thorpe at his own five. Out to the 23. So Florida State with just over two minutes left. They've got one timeout remaining. And they've got to go, well, from the 22 all the way to the end zone. Don't forget, at the conclusion of today's game, we'll select the Chevrolet player of the game from each team. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. A lot of the story still to be told here. 204 left. Chris Ricks out of the shotgun. Look how deep those safeties are. 18 yards deep. And Rex that's why. Over the middle, and it's dropped. Incomplete. Javon Walker. NC State wants it ruled a fumble, but he never had control. The safeties were 18 to 20 yards deep. Walker read it correctly, as did Ricks. They did everything correctly except catch the football. Watch the space between the corners and the secondary. You don't even see the secondary in the, in the picture yet. Walker just drops the football. You can't play it too soft now. The secondary again, 18 yards deep and a two deep look. That, that, that's real loose. Four receivers set. Got to go 78 yards. Rick stepping up, firing behind his intended receiver, and it's incomplete, but again, he had a man open. This time it wasn't the receiver's fault. Both times, though, the separation between the front set, the front nine, actually, and the two safeties is too much. Rivers and Robinson on the sideline. And I, but I would imagine they're going to do it again this time anyway. Buddy Green's defense trying to hold here with a minute 51. Third down and 10 for the Seminoles. Look how deep those safeties are, folks. Plenty of room in the middle. That's where I would anticipate seeing this. Got the same set from Florida State. Quick drop, quick throw behind Walker. Nice catch. Up to the 37, they'll move the chains, and the clock will stop. Gain of 17. Same intermediate route. They've got to have the first down. That's an excellent catch after the drop by Javon Walker. Excellent catch going back and getting the football. NC State is going to take a timeout here. And I believe that's their final timeout. So they're out of timeouts. Florida State has one left. And a reminder, our overhead shots, courtesy of Goodyear. And the Goodyear Blimp Stars and Stripes on board at the controls. Captain Dan Thomas from Pompano Beach, Florida. Right down the road from there. Gorgeous shots from high above. Ball from the 37-yard line, a minute 39 left. So far, NC State defensively has showed a real too deep look on here. And they're basically saying, you got to get in the end zone to beat us. Chris Ricks has time here, but again, just the one timeout. So you got to use the clock wisely. Yeah, I... I I think they have to they have to mix it up just a little bit. Here comes the same look. The two deep safeties, and they take the middle linebacker and drop him 
12 to 15 yards deep. That's the middle linebacker around the 50. Playing very, very loose with a four down man rush that won't get to Rich by themselves. They swing it out. Maddox has it. He'll get out of bounds. Run out of bounds at the 42. It was Victor Stevens who ran him out there. A minute 32 left. But that's exactly what NC State wants. They want to force him to throw it underneath like this. Four-man rush, five people blocking. Rick should have plenty of time. Maddox has the speed to get the yardage and then get out of bounds. Similar set now for the Seminoles. Maddox on the other side, though, in the backfield. Four wide. Plenty of time for Ricks coming out. He's got his man. And Devon Walker with the catch and gets out of bounds. He's got a first down. Remember, Florida State still has one timeout left. And, and if you're NC State, you're playing it real loose here. I still think you got to mix it up a little bit. Florida State's too talented offensively to just say, we're going to sit in the two shell and, and let you guys do what you want. Mix it up a little bit. They're sitting in the same look again. Five catches on the afternoon for Javon Walker. Ricks out of the shotgun. Here comes NC State on the blitz. They pick it up, and again, the out, and they get out of bounds. Complete out to B.J. Ward, redshirt freshman out of Dallas. The number 10 team in the country, Florida State, trying to avoid the upset here at home, and their first loss ever in the ACC at Doe Campbell Stadium. If the Wolfpack could hold on here. I think Rick missed a read on that last one. I think they've got to get intermediate, intermediate route down the field, 15, 18 yards. Middle linebacker dropping back again into deep coverage for the two safeties. Swings it out to Maddox. Nice catch. Ahead. Side steps one. Hop at the 37. But another big gain. Another first down. Clock will stop. Gain of 10 for Maddox. Rick's doing a good job trying to get his people up on the line. As soon as they reset the chains, the clock will start. There it goes. Crowd starting to believe here. In his final drive. Quick throw. Walker with the catch ahead of Hudson. Wraps him up and keeps him inbounds, I believe. Yeah. Oh, did he? Yes, they did. Yeah, they're winding it. So they're going to have to use that final timeout. That's huge. And that's a freshman making that play, Marcus Hudson. You know, good or bad, Hudson's been involved in a lot of things yeah. today. <laughs> yes. He got beat a little bit earlier, but that's a true freshman. That's okay. Let's see if he gets out of bounds on this. Walker, number 80, little hitch route. Now he's got to fight hard. To get, well, you got to get out of bounds. You got to get out. I think he's out. He rolled right over the top of Hudson and dropped the ball on the sidelines. Watch him. See what touches. He's going to use the body. The hand's okay. The hand's okay. Oh, he's fine. That's, yeah. out, that's out of bounds. He was out of bounds. That caused Florida State to burn their last time out. Hands down, that's okay. The, the right knee went down, but I think the ball was out. That's huge right there. Heck of an effort to get out of bounds, too, but he didn't get credit for it. So 46 seconds, neither team with a timeout. And the ball at the 33. Just outside the 33 for Florida State. So many times this stadium, well, not nearly empty at the end of the game, but certainly a lot less people because they're blowing people out. But uh, and my man is usually right. He's used to being in the parking lot at this point. <laughs> well, he maybe should be in the parking lot at this point. But <laughs> it's the longest he's ever been in this stadium. All right, now we're going to see that two shell look, I think, again from NC State. They're going to push the middle linebacker back into coverage. They've got four down linemen and nothing but D-backs and linebackers behind, besides that. Ricks, no pressure at all. He's got a man at the goal line. Incomplete. Hey, Trues Bell was there. Had to turn to try to catch it, though. And that, that amazes me against the two deep that they can allow that to happen. North Carolina State, they almost gave it away right there. Number 72, Brett Williams, injured on the play. He had Bell. He just had to turn around to try to make that catch, and he couldn't adjust. I'm but amazed. There's no reason the, he should be out there. If you're going to play that, that deep look, you can't get beat deep. 
and the safeties have a lot to cover, but that means the corners have to sink back underneath that deep route. And I'm amazed, and I think Chris Ricks was probably also, I'm flabbergasted that he was open with a chance to win the football game in the coverage they were in. That shouldn't happen. So Rick's able to talk things over with the coaches on the sideline. Jeff Mountain among them. Let's think this through now. Third down. So it is down to the wire here in Tallahassee. NC State trying to pull off the upset 34 to 28. The Wolfpack with the lead over the number 10 team in the country. Terry Gannon, Mike Mayock here in what's been really a great one. NC State with a whole lot of offense early in the Florida State Seminoles the same. But in the second half, the defense coming up for Florida State making some adjustments. And this final drive. Finding out a lot about Chris Ricks, the redshirt freshman quarterback leading the Seminoles down the field. Unfortunately, not a sight you want to see is Brett Williams, number 72, the left tackle, is carted off. And, and he's their best offensive lineman. He protects the blind side typically in past situations for Chris Ricks. He'll be replaced with a redshirt freshman. And if I'm North Carolina State, I'm going after that guy right now, Alex Barron. Third and six for the Seminoles now. 40 seconds left in the game. No ball timeouts. Out. No timeouts left. The ball on the 33 of NC State. NC State two deep shell look. They're laying way off. It should be open underneath. Rick straight drop goes over the middle. He's got his man. Complete at the 25-yard line. Javon Walker with the catch. <laughs> it was, I told you it'd be open underneath. Now you got to get over the ball because the clock stops. They'll reset and they'll start to run it. So Chris Rex has got to get everybody ready right now. Got the first down, but they'll start the clock right now once they got the ball set. This is the drive that started on Florida State's 22-yard line. Ricks the quick out. Again, Walker, and he's able to get outside. Yeah, I'm flabbergasted at NC State's defense. They've been in the same exact defense since this shell started, since this drive started. It's a two-deep look. They're giving away everything underneath. We've got 22 seconds. They've got at least three plays left. And now they can take some shots at the end zone. They really haven't even challenged those underneath routes. Now, I, sorry, I'm telling you. I, I've watched the coverage on every single play. It's been the two deep look, soft zone underneath. And what they're saying to you right now, Florida State, is we'll give it to you underneath, but you're not getting anything up top. The problem is that now they can take shots in the end zone. Once you get to the 21-yard line, the underneath can get you to the end zone. Yeah. Play clock running down. They got the play off, though. Rick's going to take a shot. Tipped, almost picked off. Javon Walker, the intended receiver. Lamont Reed was back there. He got a hand on it. The freshman from Concord, North Carolina. Good job by Reed. They finally got some pressure on Ricks. With that four-man rush, they haven't been able to get any pressure on him. Third down. 17 seconds. Florida State trying to win their 10th consecutive ACC championship. They can't lose this one, though. Ricks going to tuck it and run. Slides down near a first down at the 15. It depends where they spot it. He's got the first down. So they'll stop the clock momentarily, but only 10 seconds left. And again, Florida State out of timeout. Into the end zone, folks. Here it goes. Going to stop it yep. first, though. Yep. So it'll bring up second down for Florida State, trying to avoid the upset. Jeff Bowden, what do you got left here with seven seconds? <laughs> well, let's see what their personnel groupings in the game. Chuck Amato knows these guys better than anybody. Spent 18 seasons on the sidelines for Bobby Bowden. They've got one, two. They got five wide receivers in the ball game. No back. Everybody's heading to the end zone. They're one missed tackle away from a touchdown. Only seven seconds left. Ricks taking a shot over the middle. Incomplete. Oh. Went right through the hands, I think, of Lamont Reed. 
the defensive back from North Carolina State who's in the game as a freshman. It was B.J. Ward who was in the end zone. Take another look. See the break on the football right there. Lamont Reed had an opportunity to make a play, and he knocked it down. So here's your ball game. Three seconds left. Florida State trying to punch it in against NC State. Ricks under pressure. Throws it up top. The jump ball in the end zone incomplete. The game is over the Wolfpack. Pulling off the upset in Tallahassee. They upset the number 10 team in the country. It is the first ACC loss ever for Florida State here at Doak Campbell Stadium. And I expected better than a Hail Mary in that field position for the last play of the game. And Chuck Amato, after 18 years on the sidelines, as an assistant coach to Bobby Bowden, able to come back here. He's got tears in his eyes to pull off the upset. <laughs> wow. A Chevrolet players of the game, Ray Robinson for NC State, 106 yards on the ground, eight catches as well for 39 yards. And Almond Gardner, four catches, 76 yards, two touchdowns. In recognition of their efforts, Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Wow, what a game here in Tallahassee. Chuck Amato was in tears. That makes his program. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Keyword, ABC Sports.